Welcome to our online math intervention classroom where math knowledge makes things easier. Today we're going to be plotting a polygon on a coordinate plane. The common core standard is 6GA3, 6th grade, G for geometry, A3 is the standard. Here's our coordinate plane. The guide and instruction problem simply states that we have a polygon graphed on a coordinate plane and we have to use the ordered pairs that represent the vertices, the, the corners of the polygon to graph the polygon and then we're going to choose uh, which shape is supposed to be graphed as a multiple choice question A, B, C, or D. So let's see what we have. Remember an ordered pair are the numbers in the coordinate plane that represent the point on the x-axis and on the y-axis the x comes first. Let's take a look at our first vertex. So this number is negative 7 on the x-axis and negative 3 on the y-axis. So if we move over here on the x-axis to negative 7, so everything along this line would be at negative 7 on the x-axis. And we go up and down on the y-axis to negative 3. So here's negative 3. And the point where they meet, that's where we're going to graph this point that's represented by this ordered pair. Now let's take a look at the next vertex. So the ordered pair is negative 7 on the x-axis and positive 4 on the y-axis. So if we go over here on the x-axis, negative 7 is right here. Everything along this line would be negative 7 on the x-axis. And up here on the y-axis, everything here would be at 4 on the y-axis. And the point where they meet is where we're going to plot that point represented by that ordered pair. The third vertex. The ordered pair is 6, negative 3. So first on the x-axis, we'll go over here to positive 6. And on the y-axis, we'll go down to negative 3. And the point where they meet is where we're going to plot that point. And the fourth vertex, the ordered pair is positive 6, positive 4. So positive 6 on the x-axis, everything along this line would be positive 6 on the x-axis. But we want to find the place on that, on that positive 6 on the x-axis that touches on the y value of positive 4. So we're going to put a point where those two lines meet. So there are our four vertices. And we can draw a polygon that looks like this. Now let's take a look at the choices for this guided instruction problem. We have A, B, C, and D. We can see just from the fact that we plotted these points and drew this polygon, we know it doesn't look anything like A. It's more horizontal than it is vertical. So we know it's not A. And we know it's also not C because it's, it's spread out more to the side than it is up and down. But B and C look very similar. I'm sorry, B and D look very similar. The only difference here, if you notice on your worksheet, is B is a little higher on the y-axis and D is a little lower on the y-axis. So B goes up to positive 4 on the y-axis and only goes down to negative, negative 3 on the y-axis. And D only goes up to positive 3 on the y-axis but goes all the way down to negative 4 on the y-axis. So we see it's, it's not D. It doesn't go down to negative 4. It only goes down to negative 3, like B. B is the choice, correct choice, for that guided, guided instruction problem. If you have any other questions on the worksheet, please bring your questions to our Google Meet session, which should be Tuesday. So all you have to do is watch this video use the answer form to record all of the answers for the worksheet. Make sure you submit that. 
and complete the attendance form, which also has to be submitted. Remember, we have spring break this week, but a vacation from school does not mean that there is a break from using math. There are many ways that you could use math while on vacation, art, baking, cooking, using your cell phone, counting minutes, driving, exercising, gardening, scheduling, shopping, statistics in order to determine probability if, uh, if things will go your way. If you've called the past three times this week and your friend has not answered, he is probably not going to answer on the fourth call. Maybe he is, uh, maybe he's, doesn't have his phone with him and he's visiting relatives. So statistics we use every day, math we use every day. So even though I won't be meeting with you the end of the week, I hope to meet you after vacation. Stay healthy, take universal precautions uh, to protect yourself from the coronavirus. And I look forward to getting back into the swing of things after vacation.